What's going on guys? Michael Pitts here. So I haven't been videoing for a while because I've been sick. And no, I don't know if I had the coronavirus or not because I couldn't get in to get tested. But I'm pretty sure that I did have it because my girlfriend, who's a nurse, just got tested at work and was positive. And I'm 98% sure she got it from me. So, whoops. But, I'm pretty much over it. I'm still banned from my buddy's shop until I know for sure that I'm clear. So I do have an appointment scheduled tomorrow. But, I'm not gonna let that stop me today. So, if y'all guys are new to the channel, welcome. And I hope you follow along and go hit that subscribe button. Because uh, what I've got going on is a 80s model crew cab one ton restoration. So just a little recap. I went and bought a 6.2 liter out of a 2017 Silverado. I've... Uh, Went ahead, got it on the stand in my shed, and fired it off, and it sounds awesome. And then, shortly after, I went and purchased a 1986 C30 crew cab and started converting it to four-wheel drive. So I ripped out the 454 in it. it was, it's a two-wheel drive dually. And... I've decided to sacrifice my truck from high school here, which is a 1987 GMC Sierra Classic. <sighs> it kind of makes me sad, but I'm looking at this as the 2.0 version of my high school truck here. So what I've got going on today, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and make a trip, get some concrete blocks and start getting this thing blocked up so I can rip these three-quarter ton axles out from this truck because I'm at the point where I really need them <laughs> and I need the tires for the truck to sit on because right now the other truck is just sitting on some big old pipeline jack stands so that's where I'm at if y'all are interested in following this I hope you do. It really helps me out. I'm not big yet, but hopefully with enough time I will be. Actually, I don't care if I am, but I enjoy making these videos and uh, hopefully I can continue to do so. So, all right, so we're gonna take the old GMC for one last ride and get some materials, so. I'm going to block it up right over here. And uh, if y'all are wondering why I'm sacrificing this old truck, I did not want to do it. This thing is near and dear to me. My grandpa gave this truck to me back in high school. And I've put a lot of time and energy in this truck. have a lot of memories. But, when I got to searching around, I quickly realized that in order to buy all the stuff I need for the other truck, a bed, uh, some axles that weren't dually axles, uh, some good body parts and pieces, I was gonna quickly end up with as much in those parts as what I could have got out of this truck. So I've decided just to part out <clears throat> what I need from this truck and sell what I don't. And then I'm just looking at the new truck as the crew cab reinvented version of this. 
So, anyways, <sighs> that was a mouthful. So, the last time I took this truck out, it threw the <laughs> power steering belt off because the power steering pump started squalling and went out. So, for the last ride in this truck, it ain't gonna have power steering. But I wouldn't have expected anything less out of this old thing. That's how it's been, and that's part of the reason I'm taking my time on this new truck, and I'm spending the money and getting new parts where it counts. And another thing, I went ahead and dropped the money and got some 20 by 12 Mickey Thompson side biter rims that are a matte black or flat black. I don't remember. Hell, it don't matter. But <clears throat> along with that, I got some BFG all terrains, some 325 60 20s. And all together, that was about $3,000. But I mean, you got to have some good tires if you want a good, reliable truck, right? So. The tires are not as aggressive as I typically like to go, but I'm trying to build a truck that could be an everyday driver if I wanted it to be. That's the whole goal of this Resto Mod project on this 1986 C30. So guys, I hope you follow along because it's gonna be a good time. I've also spent quite a bit of time contemplating the best way to go about getting these axles out from under this truck and I really didn't want to just leave this thing on blocks because I still wanted it to be mobile enough to move around but for now that's the best option I've got so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go pick up 16 concrete blocks jack up the front block it up under the front pull out these axles take them out to my buddy Jordan's and I don't know if I mentioned it or not but I'm currently banned from Jordan's it's not that he really cares he just doesn't want me around the baby since I'm sick till I know I'm clean and I don't blame him but I miss him <laughs> love you Jordan <laughs> About to see how hard the old motor is to start here. Uh, I built this motor in this truck back in 2011. Uh, it's been a pretty reliable motor. I just uh, wanted something a little newer. So I'm gonna be pulling this thing out, selling it to somebody. Uh, if you're interested, just hit me up. There she goes. Uh, as y'all can see, maybe. This old motor still has good old pressure. She just started up, so she's idling a little higher old pressure than typical, but still good old pressure for an old 350. It's actually a 355. It's been bored out 30 over. Has a 270H Magnum cam in it with roller tip rocker arms, an Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock Thunder Series carburetor, 650 CFM, I believe, if I remember right. So, turbo 400 transmission, three speed, no overdrive and a MP208 transfer case, so. Now that it's warmed up and idling, it's got a little bit of a load. Okay, I think before I decommission my old truck, it deserves one last opportunity 
to attempt a two-wheel drive hill climb over here. So I would do four-wheel drive, but it, it won't even spin. So we'll just do two. She just wouldn't quite make it up with these new tires, but it almost did. We just lost traction up top, so. Not bad for a heavy two-wheel drive. Well, a heavy truck in two-wheel drive with all terrains on slick grass. So, oh well, it was fun. I should have known she'd squeeze one last tank of gas out of me before I decommissioned her. Just figured out that my buddy Trenton's at work, so I'm going to video him loading these cinder blocks up for me. That'll be a change. Me videoing him working. Nah, I'm just kidding, Trenton. He helps me a lot, actually, so. Alright, let's pull back there. I would video, but I can't steer this truck and video. It's a bit of a contradiction. No, wait. Not contradiction. A predicament. That's right. Damn. I've still got foggy brain from COVID, apparently. You, 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 you. Is it wrong that I'm making my truck carry the last load of cinder blocks so it can be decommissioned? Look at that. A rare sight. Trenton Shavers working. Truck is officially unloaded, and we are back from the final ride. So now I just got to get the bed off, axles pulled out of it, and get back on the C30 project. Pretty dark here. So it's almost too dark for me to video out here, so I'm going to call it a day because I don't have good lighting yet, but we will continue this project. And the next video should be pretty interesting because I'm gonna be pulling on a bed and axles out from under this thing. So <clears throat> once again, if you haven't already done so, go down and hit that like and subscribe button if you wanna follow this project along. Uh, it's gonna be fun. We're going to have fun along the way. As things progress, I plan on getting more footage of just everything, you know. This isn't necessarily a how-to channel. It is just a couple of guys restoring old vehicles, building projects, and having fun. So that fun part may not be restoring vehicles. It may just be going mudding somewhere, I don't know, but anyway, I'll see y'all guys next time.